Hello everyone, Big Switch here. Welcome back to Paladona Karu. We're visiting the Lost Household in my Between the Seasons series. We have Maria Marsh and Arthur Charles. Now, Maria Marsh is best friends with Jessica Peterson and she introduced Jessica to Arthur Charles. Let's start with Maria Marsh. She's a popularity sim. She currently wants to own five top level businesses. She becomes an elder in 24 days. She's in the criminal career as a con artist. For her personality, she's between sloppy and neat, outgoing, active, serious, and grouchy. She has an interest in money, entertainment and paranormal. She has an interest in cuisine but we don't know what her one true hobby is. For her chemistry she's turned on by cologne, creative and turned off by education. Then we have Arthur Charles. He's a knowledge sim. His secondary aspiration is romance. Now he had an aspiration change and romance was his original aspiration so that's why it's his secondary now. I mentioned before that the original aspiration will still be part of the sim like there are traces of the original aspiration left behind in the sim like you can't completely change yourself so that will be his secondary aspiration everyone else the secondary aspiration will be life experience currently wants to become a city planner becomes an elder in 33 days he works as a bartender at center drip coffee shop for his personality is between sloppy and neat shy on the active side playful side and then grouchy is really interested in money, travel, weather. For hobby enthusiasm, his one true hobby is cuisine. He also has an interest in games and science. For his chemistry, he's turned on by hard worker, logical and turned off by unemployed. As a reminder, Arthur Charles and Maria Marsh live right over here next to Jessica Peterson. And they are currently speaking about the paranormal, something they both really, really like. But instead, they're going to go and talk about the weather, it's currently raining. Now, let me speak about everything that I would like to do with them. I'm just picking up my notes. So, Maria Marsh, she has a potential romance with Richard Ross over here. He does, I believe he does have feelings for her. And the landlord just rang the doorbell, so I think we'll just go and greet him because... We do have a friendship with him, which will help with the rent, so let's go and speak to him. And then Arthur Charles, he is suspecting Maria Boyd. And I do have something planned with that. And then also Armand Duba too, we also need to go and explore that. And then also about Armand. So Jessica didn't give Arthur Charles an update on the situation. He has no idea that she really doesn't need information on Armand, but he's still gonna go ahead on that. Go ahead with that because Arthur told Jessica that she must pay him after he delivers information on Armand and as you can see he has a high interest in money. And that is honestly why he agreed to go and help now with that so he's gonna go and do that. And then also about Richard Rogers, I feel that Arthur uh, doesn't really like Richard Rogers. they are friends now. And I did consider that Arthur is going to seduce Sarah Stone because of his secondary aspiration and because he doesn't really like Richard Rogers. But then I decided, well, we can just focus on Maria Boyd this round. And then maybe if Arthur doesn't like Richard later, maybe if the relationship worsens and then we can consider... Sarah Stone and Arthur Charles. And I also see he wants to be friends with Maria, so yes, let's go and do that, let's go and call her up. And then one more thing that I wanted Maria Marsh to do, I want her to befriend Marissa Cleveland. That is going to be her big con. So Maria Boyd, let's just talk right now. We are not friends yet. So I know that Marsh is going to go out to Euphony. Oh, and then she did roll a want with him, for him. Marsh is going to go out to Euphony, and then I'm also thinking that she's going to purchase the musical instrument. Like, that is her way in. They're getting along right now. Speaking about jewelry, about money. And then Arthur, yeah, I think he can get to know Almond a little more. 
So we are just gonna go and chat to him. So we're just getting to know our targets right now. Marsh just wants to go and tell jokes to Richard Ross. So I wanna go and ask what do you want? Do you like what you see to go and re-roll his ones? But I also see that she wants to go and entertain with an inside joke. He wants to go and get fit. I don't think she's really feeling him. Let me just have them chat and then make selectable. Okay, so he does have a romantic one. Oh, but he does want to ask her out. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, in love. Oh, wow. So Arthur spent some time with Armand, 93 over 24, and I'm gonna go and send him to the computer to send an email to Maria Boyd, and Richard is going to immediately ask her out. And this conversation is really, really not going so well. <laughs> she does want to go and dance with him, so let's hope that we'll improve things. Oh. She wants to go and get married to him. Okay. Let's go and smooch. But is Maria Marsh the type to get married? She is a con artist. Maybe she would do it for the wrong reasons. Let's just go straight into it. She wants to have a dream date. He really wants to go and woohoo with her. So casual. Let's just do an auto woo. And they honestly went to the wrong bed because this is supposed to be hers. I put I purchased this bed for Arthur. Uh, it's a little weird that she's gonna go and use his bed and I think Arthur knows he can hear that. She's busy in his bedroom. And after woohooing with Richard, she's immediately gonna go and grab a plate. She didn't even kiss him or anything. Now let's say relationship with landlord. We can probably give him some attention. So Arthur's gonna go and check his email. And then I think while he's there, he can also send an invitation e-card to Maria Boyd. Just invite her over and then they can hang out over here in the slot. And he did get an email response from her. So we've ended the date with Richard Ross. They had a dream date, had a good time together. And then now we can focus on Maria Boyd. But I'm thinking he's going to allow her to snoop around the little mobile home. He wants to see what she's gonna do because she because he is suspicious of her. So Arthur's in the bathroom and then she just walks in and then she wonders is this Marsh's computer? Would she find anything? And then Marsh sees her and decides to start a conversation. But I feel that if oh, best friends. But I feel that if Maria Boyd visits again, and then if she sees that she's alone in the mobile home, she's gonna go and snoop around on the computer, but then Arthur's gonna go and catch her, that's what I'm thinking. And then also in Marsh's previous Between the Seasons series, then she considered becoming a roommate with her. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. But then now she sees an opportunity to keep this cop close to her so that she can manipulate her. And I would also say because they are best friends now, Maria Boyd feels really comfortable around Marsh, maybe feels that Maria Marsh won't con her, won't do anything bad to her. But I think in this round we're really gonna focus a bit more on Arthur because of Armand and then Maria Boyd. Marsh did have the date with Richard Ross simply because, oh and they're best friends as well, simply because she saw that Ross rejected Chastity, but then he accepted Marsh's advances, and that just made her feel really good about herself. Yeah, she isn't that, uh, she isn't a good person. So she, I feel that even though she has feelings for him, she just went on that date with him for her ego. And then also, I'm thinking I need to check her clothing because when she goes to euphony, she should have a 
oh the boss is calling she should have a neater outfit to go and impress marissa cleveland we're here at euphony and she didn't really have neat clothing for every day so i just decided she can wear formal maybe i will get her clothing if she rolls the one but i just decided let's go with this formal clothing so she's just being really friendly with Marissa. Then I think we can also try to joke. The conversation is going well so far. Now we only have pianos from. I think she's going to add this to the shopping bag and then add that one to the shopping bag. Or maybe we could just go and buy everything. But I'm just going to cancel all the interactions. I just wanted to grab what she can as soon as possible so it looks like i can only get the one piano but i wanted to get everything other people are spoiling my plans okay so i had to go and reset him to go and grab that and i'll have to go and do that for the others and then i can grab that one as well then i have to go and do the same to the lost lady there we go grabbing the last one move there we go Hello, we are, we are buying everything in your shop. Look at that bag. We're buying everything. Marissa, hello. I think I will have to go and make a selectable so that she can go and ring us up. There we go. Looks like all her customers were picking on her. Poor Marissa. But I think this purchase is going to make her feel much better now. But I think Marissa is probably going to appreciate her for, for purchasing all her stuff. So let's go and make her selectable. We are going to go and admire. Let's go and cancel that. So she appreciated her. And then I think we are going to entertain her with joke. And then she's going to be super friendly as well. And then I think after this we can just go. I won't be surprised if the customers are going to start fighting each other. And Maria is here. So we're going to go and greet her. And then maybe entertain her with a joke. And then he's going to go and tell her that he needs to quickly wash up. And then she's going to take the opportunity to snoop around, basically. So Arthur immediately leaves the bathroom, and then he heads into the bedroom, and then he catches her snooping around. And then he's going to immediately distract her by flirting with her, but then she's also a little bit frazzled because she was caught. And then she was like stuttering and then trying to... Really? Well, I'm gonna lock that one in. Oh, but he's also crashing on her. So let's just charm again and then hit on her. Oh, but he lost that one to do an Oscar out. But he had that one, and I am just going to have him go ahead with this. And he doesn't mention the fact that she was just busy on this computer. He is really, really suspicious of her because she was so surprised and stuttering and... She looked a bit like she was panicking. She decides to accept his advances. He thinks that she's distracting him, but he's really distracting her. But what I'm thinking of Maria Boyd, she's really attracted to Justin, but she knew that Justin had a thing with Sarah, and she also knows that Sarah, who was Justin's uncle, she doesn't know that Justin is in love with her. And she really feels that she will probably just be friends with Justin. So she does have the one to go and make out with him. So I just decided to go for a casual make out. And then Maria Boyd ends the day. She's like, I really have to go now. And she flees, basically. I do see that she wants to go and ask uh, Richard Rogers on a date. I think I want to lock that one in instead of Carlos. So she's going to go and give her a friendly hug. And I don't think Jessica has spoken about Carlos. But I do feel because she rolled the one to go out with Richard Rogers. She probably wants to move on. She doesn't know if Richard Rogers 
is well off, but I think she maybe has decided that she wants to be happy for a change. And they spoke about love, they spoke about babies. Maybe she's speaking about Carlos right now, that she trusted him, she fell in love with him, and now she feels that she's pregnant, and what is she gonna do with this child? And Maria Marsh feels that the child is a paycheck, access to Carlos's wealth, so I think maybe Marsh advises her to keep the baby, because that's also leverage over Carlos. And then Jessica is, I feel, pretty calm over here. So we will address, yeah, the baby, the unborn contender baby in the future. We're at the art museum because I felt that Almond would maybe visit this place, and he is here as we arrive, so that is wonderful. Tell a story, probably about art, because we're outside the art museum, and then I feel we can go inside like they are viewing art together. So first up is a statue. They're gonna go and speak about the paranormal, which is really not a good topic. Especially with Almond. And oh, over there he has a reaction to him. And I'm thinking that he's gonna ask, do you like what you see because of the reaction? Because he is a secondary romance, that is his core, and he sees Almond's interest. But Almond has never advertised the fact that he also likes men. But would he go and ask? I don't think he will, so I think we're gonna continue looking at artwork. So we're looking at a painting this time and oh no not the paranormal once again. Oh that really. Well let's go and see what will happen if we tell the, uh, the dirty joke. But I do feel that I want to go and well he's joking about oh oh dear. <laughs> that is really not going so well. Oh well that was autonomous. Okay I want to see what else he's gonna do autonomously. Let's see. Okay, also having a reaction. Wants to go and play Red Hands. Oh, but I do see he has once. Tell a joke and appreciate. But I think if we want something romantic to start between them, then Arthur will have to initiate it. And then that is going to be reading the blackmail that Jessica wanted. Oh, and Richard Ross is calling. I really barely had interaction after the woohoo. Speaking about the paranormal... Oh, and immediately hangs up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't see her getting really serious with him. I honestly don't see her as the type to get married. But I do want to see if this is going to happen. Yeah. But while we wait on Arthur, I think she can just hang out over here with Jessica. But the moment that Arthur comes home, then he's going to have a talk with Marsh about Maria Boyd. Because he caught her snooping and then he's going to tell her that they need to be careful with this woman. And then Marsh is going to be like, ugh. If it's so obvious that she is investigating them, then she is a terrible cop. And then we also have the pianos that we can sell and we're going to do that immediately. And then I think that because Marissa was so eager, about the sale and maybe they exchanged numbers. So we are going to go and call her up and it's all really, really for the con. And she is playing her fire because Marissa is the wife of Jason and Jason suspects Maria Marsh. And Marsh is becoming an elder in 22 days so she survived as a con artist for so long and I feel that she probably became a bit arrogant. Like in the previous season when she was caught because of the trans card, that was maybe the first time in a long time that she was caught. But then now she is getting ready for a big con, the wife of the local big shot detective. And she feels that she can pull it off. But I feel that she will need to change her wardrobe if she wants to pull this off. Because she purchased all the musical instruments, so she must have money, but on the other hand, it really didn't cost that much, all the musical instruments. 
But it was just the thought that this woman just came in and uh, purchased all of her stock that just caught Marissa's attention because that business is still pretty, pretty new as well. He goes and tells her about Maria Boyd and that they need to be careful with her. And then she's like, we don't need to get worked up about that inexperienced, low-ranked cop. And then she's gonna go and caress his cheek. Like, thank you for worrying, but she's doing that because she's a con artist and she plays with everyone. So it's early in the morning and I'm thinking he's gonna try to hold her hand. And I also cleared Marsha's flags for Richard Ross. And then he's gonna go and hold her hand because of last night how she caressed his cheek. But she's doing that to keep him wrapped around her finger. I had a lot of fun with Arthur and Marsh and I'm looking forward to the next part with Almond. Is something going to go and happen between them? But I also want to invite over Maria Boyd once again because I have something in mind, something that can happen. But thank you so much everyone for watching. If you liked the episode, please leave a like. That will help the channel grow and help the series grow. I will really appreciate that. I will see you all soon. So until then, take care. Big swisher.